Ever wonder what happens to your wastewater? You might be asking, what is wastewater? Well, it's water that has been used. It contains lots of things, domestic, industrial, institutional, and commercial byproducts. Wastewater can harm people, animals, and the environment if it hasn't been treated and cleaned. And that's why we're here. Wastewater comes from all kinds of places. The bathtub, the sink, the dishwasher, the washing machine, and of course, the toilet. It also comes from industrial buildings, and it seeps through built-in openings in sewer pipes and manhole covers. Every day, each of us generates over 300 liters of wastewater. That's a lot of water to clean. This is the City of Fredericton's water and sewer utility. It has been taking care of our wastewater since 1965. And we've put in place an efficient and successful system to treat all the wastewater in our city. Let's have a look. Wastewater arrives at the main lift station. It's pumped through bar screens designed to prevent large particles from going any farther. The wastewater is then pumped up to an outdoor channel that flows towards two large grinders. Any large particles that make it past the bar screens are ground by the grinders into smaller pieces. Now it's safe to run into the primary treatment tanks. Once the water is here, any solids that remain will rise to the top or settle at the bottom. Grease, scum and other floatables rise. These are collected by a sweeper arm and deposited into a holding tank. A series of rakes scrape the solids that settle on the bottom, moving them into the hopper where they are pumped away. Next, the wastewater flows into the aeration tanks. Air is supplied from blowers through bubble diffusers on the bottom of the aeration tank, kind of like an aerator in a fish aquarium. Biology is at work, converting solids to a form that helps them settle to the bottom. Here, microscopic bugs further remove the solids. These bugs thrive on food, the solids, and on oxygen created in the aeration tanks. The remaining water flows from the aeration tanks into this large tank for secondary treatment. Solids settle to the bottom of the secondary treatment tank, but once isn't enough. They're sent back to the aeration tanks to be cleaned again. This is how we make sure we remove as many of the solids as possible. Safety is our first priority, so we keep an eye on the bugs that clean the water. These are monitored and controlled by analyzing them in the lab every day. Let's look at what happens to all of the solids that have been collected from the process so far. The sludge is pumped to the operations building. Wet solids are pumped into these large rotary presses where the water is removed. This water flows back into the main lift station to be treated again. These are the dewatered solids. They're dropping into a dump truck below. It's driven away to be recycled as part of high quality compost. Over 5,000 tons of our dewatered solids are used in manufactured topsoil every year. Now let's head back and see what's happening with the treated water that has the microscopic solids still left in it. This is where disinfecting comes in. If we don't disinfect the water, it would be like washing the dirt off your hands without using soap. Small germs would stay on your skin. Likewise, after secondary treatment, small germs stay hidden in this clean looking water. It's vital that we disinfect this water to prevent the spread of diseases. And to do this, we use two methods, chlorine and ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light, also called UV, is the last step in the process. UV kills any disease still present in the water. Now it's completely safe to leave our treatment plant and this clean water is discharged into the St. John River. We've cared about the environment since the 1960s. 
the City of Fredericton's water and sewer utility continues to use the safest methods to manage our wastewater. Wastewater. We quickly and safely get it to our treatment facility. And wherever the water ends up, we make sure it's clean, safe, and ready to re-enter the environment. That's how we take care of Fredericton's wastewater every single day.